Hey everybody, I'm here with my team today. I'm Jake Mace with jakemace.com and my team is Grant and Shad from Surprise Inspiration Gardens. You're the youngest gardeners I know. Also with Seamus O'Leary with Seamus O'Leary's Tropical Fruit Trees and we're here at the Tropical Fruit Trees Nursery in Glendale. Right. What's behind me? Starfruit, Carambola. Looks like this when it's a baby and you have a mature one that you'll show as well, right? <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. I have seen this fruit a lot in Whole Foods, in AJ's, and it costs like $8 a piece. Right. And they're usually decent tasting, but who's gonna pay that much money for them? Can they actually grow in Phoenix? Actually, they grow very well here. It's a very underrated subtropical fruit tree for our climate. Yeah. They can be container grown or grown in ground. I've seen at your house, you've had one container that actually had over 50 fruits on it. Right. It was incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And there's people that are all around town and been growing them for years yep. with the Rare Fruit Growers Club and everything. And they take the heat and the cold pretty well. Yeah, they're fine with it. Yeah. Uh, when they're young, they'll like a little bit of cold protection when we get to freezing or okay. below. But if they're in the ground and the roots have established, usually they're good by year two or three. And they will acclimate into full sun as well. The other good thing about the carambolas or star fruit is that they fruit early in the season. Correct. Like earlier than peach. Right about now. Yeah. Actually, January, February, March. And this one right here, if you guys can see, this is at your nursery, and the cool thing about coming to Seamus's nursery is that his trees are loaded with fruit. I mean, yours are outside already, right? and they got fruit growing in the pots. So when I first met Seamus, I was amazed at that. I was like, like, this is crazy. Like, he's got the thing that I want is not to grow the tree. I want the fruit. So in this video, we can show everybody what it tastes like. Correct. Does anybody have a cutting instrument? No. This guy does. You guys just carry knives around all the time? Yeah. yeah and you can eat the whole thing, right? Right. Come on in, you guys can see him cut it here. We'll let that one go. What would you say that this tastes like? Mr. Grant? What does this taste like to you? I would say it's kind of like a, mm. like a sweet pear. It's like a flower. A little more on the watery side. Mm. It reminds me of Gatorade. Looks like, like a Like in fruit form. Yeah. Like a gator fruit. Like a lemon lime Gatorade. Very right. similar. Very good. Cool. And it, it really does look like a star on the inside, right? Six point star. Now I know there are some people watching out there that will say, can I plant those seeds? <laughs> can you plant the seeds? You can plant the seeds. But why would you not why want bother? to? You're gonna, you're gonna wait years and years and years for fruit. And yeah. it doesn't always come true to the mother tree, so. Yours are grafted off the mother's Our trees will fruit tree. the first or second year. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, you like loquats. I can eat 20 of these a day. If it's you ever like go to Whole Foods, and there's no more star fruits left, it's because I've bought them. You know, I love star fruits and I have four trees in my yard. It's because you were you. grazing through the store. I was, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did that. My one in the front yard is gone crazy. Yeah. It was in a three gallon pot and now it's like a, like a 35 gallon size. Right. And just a year and a half. Yeah, they grow very well here. I love this, I love this. Thanks for letting me taste it. Not a problem. Yeah. Make sure you guys check us out on YouTube at Surprise Inspiration Gardens for these guys, at Seamus O'Leary for him, and at um, Vegan Athlete for me. You're also on Instagram at Seamus underscore O'Leary underscore. Correct. And I'm at Jake Mace Tai Chi. I think Instagram's a great medium for keeping up with us because we post big pictures and videos of right. the gardening life. Actually, I post a lot of stuff on Instagram that I don't put on the Facebook page. Correct. Short 15 second videos and then just quick pictures of some yeah. cool stuff that we see going through the nursery. That's awesome. And you go on a lot of gardening adventures. Yes. So folks can follow your adventures right. on Instagram. And uh, check out our website, jakemace.com, and you're at phoenixfruittrees.com. Correct. Still under construction as of this moment. But it has right. your info on it. Yes. So really good website for that. And uh, Facebook, Seamus at Seamus O'Leary's to find out more.